Hello friends, let's continue learning Ansible. We have already done the foundation thing. So let's, you know, uh, go a step forward now. I uh, will start with this uh, ad hoc command for this exercise for some time. Then we'll see some modules. So Ansible all means all the hosts in my inventory. And I don't have to say the inventory name because I already have specified in my uh, configuration file. Now, what I want to do is run this module, the default module, which is the command module. And I want to ask it to do something. For example, run the free command and I want to check the system health. I mean the system resources, the virtual memory, the physical memory that is RAM on the host. And we get a nice output there, right? If if I run the same command on there, that host, see the same output, okay? Look at this color thing. Okay, so we know this RAM, how the RAM is looking like, I mean, how much it is used or free. Same for the swap, swap is completely free, okay? Used zero means completely free. Now, we can of course you uh, just uh, ignore this hyphen m command because that is the default module let's change uh, use some other command for example df i want to check the status of all the disks or volumes on my remote hosts remote hosts are also called controlled hosts you can also call them clients now this is a long output here but we, but we can uh, you know differentiate by looking at this line Okay, good. Now, I want to introduce certain things to you. So first thing is file module. Because when we work in projects, in real applications, uh, environment, we what we do? Uh, we, we work with files, lots of files, right? Files, directories, symbolic links, etc. So uh, and when you are setting up a project, I mean an application project, you configure certain files, you remove them, you copy them. So let's explore, explore this uh, module here, hyphen A. And we say this thing path. Path means I want to know if this thing is present there. Let's say the name of a file. For example, my app dot cfg right a configuration file related to my application i want to check if it is already there now state is file see notice uh, this file the keyword is not the same thing here okay this is the module name this is one of the values which we can use with the parameter state okay and what we want is state check if the file is specified in this path is present or not on all the hosts let's see what happens i don't know if that file is there or not okay i have not created it yet so see path this and state is absent right we said state is file but here we see state absent so don't get confused what you type in here what you see in here okay now, this is actually looking cool because now we know that the file is not there. We can create it. We can transfer it. For example, your application is already having one configuration file. It's configuration file, right? You don't want to overwrite it. You don't want to update it or modify it. Maybe there are uh, conditions, right? So you first check if it is already there or not. And now, what I want is, if the file is not there, I just want uh, an empty file to be created. Do you know this touch thing? It's a Linux thing also. When you touch something, you can actually fail it. <laughs> oh, what happened? No such file or directory. Yes. Why? Because I misspelled the word. World. 
word <laughs> miss spell the word something right so touch has created this zero byte file okay an empty file now one more thing about it there's something check the time is term okay 48 the minute value is 48 now current minute value is 49 past 49 in fact okay so if i use the same thing again and check the value has changed to 49 so the time stamp has been updated that is the behavior of the touch command if the file is present it will not create it it will just update the time stamp what if i have some contents in there so let's write some contents in there hyphen e okay so let's say hello mr president slash and means a uh, new line i want to fly to the pl planet planet moon slash n please grant me funds okay now greater than means i am sending this output into a file so let's give it some name for example letter okay i am intentionally giving it uh, no making it all capitals they are just to differentiate it from other items now letter now see the letter you have your letter in there now ls panel letter you see that is the time stamp there you use the date command just to confirm okay now what happens after a few seconds we'll see that thing okay now before that what we want to do is Ansible all on all my hosts module is file hyphen a path is uh, sorry this uh, so I don't want to use this thing all I want to use localhost only path is the current path and the file is this letter and state is file let's see if it works changed false why item potency item potency uh, is the behavior of ansible what what is meant by that is if conditions are already met requirements are are already met don't do anything so it says state is file okay file so the file is already present what the group permissions are what the modes are the you know uh, permissions which you set with the ch mode command for example the owner etc those things you can see here now we are going to use the ls and l command again okay our time stamp of creating that file has not been yet changed or updated you can run this dead command just to confirm that but what happens when I do this I use the command touch letter and you see the timestamp is now changed okay from 51 to 53 okay so midnight past 53 so touch command has not over written my file or you know undo the contents of my file the contents are still present there how do i know see this value okay in bytes maybe get the contents are still there now using this module if i say touch there 
what's going to happen? The same thing is going to happen because touch will change the time is stamp. So you see, changed to true. Check the time is stamp. Okay, again, the time is stamp has been changed. Now, suppose the file is not present there. I just um, uh, rename it to something else. Maybe just president. Okay, so the file is not there. Now, let's run the same command again with the touch value in there for the state parameter. So, it will create an empty file, right? Change this to, and we can see this file is there, but it is all empty. Okay, now I'm not going to uh, now let's use this all for all my remote hosts. I'm looking for something under this path slash where slash log, which is usually present on Linux hosts. Okay, now I say under there create one empty log file. Okay, related to my application, my app dot log, and we know it will create an empty file. So this time, what I want to do is, I want to check if it is already present there. And we have done this exercise before, right? Let's do it again. It is absent, right? Now, if I say directory see we don't have directory names with uh, dot and extension names right but let's keep it that way it doesn't matter anyways so what happens to we get an uh, an error or not changed is true because this directory was not present it has been now created for us Okay, how do we know? Can we just run the ansible uh, add command again? For example, all. And let's check LSI panel. So sometimes this is the command module, the default module is very helpful. What happens when you do that? It is supposed to be a directory now. Right? Total zero, total zero means there is no item in that directory. But if I use this thing here, D, it will show me the uh, uh, the permissions on that uh, set on that directory, right? So you can see this is a directory, the first letter D, okay? So it has been created. So the directory module, sorry, the directory uh, parameter or value for the state parameter will check. If the directory is there, if it is not there, it will create it. But the file value will raise an error if the file is not present. In the case of touch, no error would usually be thrown. Now you know this thing. I will show you one more thing. Absent. Because I don't want it to be present there. I want to delete it. So a state is set to absent. Let's see. True, change to some action has been taken. Now let's use this ad hoc command and check if the item is there or not. We should say we should see errors now, right? It is not there, no such file or directory. Now I'm going to show you something mm, a little bit more about this file module. For example, this directory where log and there is this file messages which is system logs or syslogs on Ubuntu servers. Messages, so all system logs, I want to access under this path slash tmp and I just say syslogs for example. Or maybe in the same in the same directory with a different name. Slash where log. Syslogs. Okay. 
and what I want is I want to create a link so this becomes my destination and this become my source so what we are doing here that this is the source path okay the source file or directory and this is the destination file or directory so don't get confused with the word source and destination it doesn't mean you are copying this thing to here status link means I am creating a symbolic link okay you know soft links or symbolic links you can use the word hard there to create a hard link also now let's hit enter If you don't know soft links, symboling links, etc., you can refer to my videos for Linux spec specific items and um, stops. So now, change is true. So syslogs has been created. That is the destination thing. Now, how do I verify? Of course, using the same file module also, we can verify that this file is present there or not correct we use the file keyword here the value and we can specify this log or our lsi panel with the default command module right we just did that also so use any one of them that comes very easy to you okay now it says it is present there so status file so the file is present there however it is a link correct huh? where log message is so it, it doesn't it doesn't say link here it says file why because it has been directed to the destination the destination is the actual file what is that destination the destination is this which was source earlier or you can say the source file the actual source file is being used to refer through the syslogs file so the file is present using the file module can I show you the contents of the file well I would not do that <laughs> so if you want to do that you can refer to the file module help page right but here with the default command module we can of course say this thing cat or maybe just use the tell command to view the last 10 lines and don't use anything else not required very simple so tell command will give you the last 10 lines if there are those many lines available in the file you see they are coming now great can we use hyphen v here and check it with less command so when i use the hyphen v it says that uh, what configuration file is being used so it is running in the verbose mode as you can see okay if i say double v there double verbose so verbosity is increased now we see so many you know uh, debugging items you can say so it tells you what configuration file is being used where the actual ansible module is what what things have been skipped or using being used etc and then the actual output from the file uh, then you also see this this thing meta and handlers etc etc <laughs> vv triple v or four v is also you can use lots of debugging logs you will see now so you know that you can use the tail command or cat command but we cannot use the file module but can we do that am i right or wrong i don't know man so if I don't know that if I can use the file module to display the content of a file we can use this ansible doc command to check the help on that module 
okay you go through this module but here short description is very helpful what it says set attributes of file so you can change the attributes okay such as the permissions for example symboling links directories alternatively remove files right with the absent word for the state parameter many other modules support the same options as the file module including copy template and assemble so in the we will we'll see this copy module also okay in this video itself and it, now you see access time follow attributes follow this flag indicates that file system links if they exist should be followed so this is the default setting okay that is why when we specified the symbolic links is logs it was actually pointing to the messages while under slash where slash log so this is the default behavior follow okay now group ownership etc modification path we, we, we saw dot examples right recurs means recursively okay go into the directory subdirectories etc like that so so many things are there i'll just quit out of it now what i want to do is we have just uh, this letter here or not oh it is empty why cat president right so we want to distribute this uh, president file this letter <laughs> to to all the hosts so what we do ansible module is sorry first let's specify on all those module is copy that copy so source is your local source actually here not path source is in the current directory itself there is this file president copy to the remote hosts under whatever directory you specify here so say destination under slash tmp i want to place it copy it okay it is very simple just keep it that much short of course you can specify what permissions you want for example just give read permissions for everyone no write permission okay anything else extra you can specify you can use the copy module just the way we use a file module to get the help now let's run it We'll, we'll go into the details of this copy module in the in next video because I'm very tired. I am just trying to make it a habit of creating videos almost every day or every other day. See, so destination slash TMP slash president has been changed to means the action has been performed state is file the file is there now of course you can use the file module to check if the file is present or not correct or not state is file let's check if the file is there now or not outside single quotes so we can have double quotes inside without any problem success the file is percent okay of course we did this thing earlier also this ls command thing so you can use that also just to confirm so slash tmp slash president see there are so many ways it it's it is said that you know there is more than one way to do it in ansible and related scripting languages such as bar python even in ansible so about linux you you can do one thing in many ways now uh, you are happy to see this output there because the file is present on the remote hosts before i say tata i can just use this hyphen o keyword there or option 
to mean one line so the host name this line after that only this output will be placed right you see but the screen is not picking up so you see some text outside but actually what is happening if I send this output to, to this file that maybe output output name of the file output and we will use the get command here with hyphen and we'll see how many lines lines are there output and as you can see only one two three lines are there instead of one two instead of one two three four five six okay those many lines we now have only three lines so it becomes very easy to check the host name also if you want to uh, you know for example if you want if you want to prepare a report that the file is present on all those hosts or not okay so how you do that first remove this app and anything which is not required now how we do that awk print dollar one now you have all the host names you can prepare a report where you can say that this file is present on all these hosts this file could be your configuration file your important secrets file for your application for your project right and now you can confirm that on all of these hosts this is present what happens if on some of the host this file is not present what we do let's do one thing Uh, I had this command earlier so under slash TMP uh, what is the name president right P R E S I T E N T president it is state is absent but not on all the host just let me set it uh, on on the only on the local host I don't want this file for example let's see what happens as you know state absent means delete the file or directory specified right so now state is absent so this is no longer present on this host correct now when we run this command okay this time instead of greater than we will use t command so it will show the output as well as send the output into this file Okay, so for some it failed with no such file or directory. For some changed RC zero means return code is zero. That means it is already present. Right now, get output. So what is happening now I want to prepare a report on all the hosts where the file is present where written code is zero for example so I can say grab where written code is zero and here is the log file so you see only these two hosts are such hosts now what I do is awk print dollar one so I can say in my next in my Excel sheet or in my email that on these hosts we don't we have the file but where we don't have the file of uh, what what's gonna happen RC zero is not present there right so uh, we can just say where RC zero is not present only those lines I want only this thing right I can remove this awk so where RC zero is not present these lines are present right so this is only one host this is one single line actually so by running this entire command now I can see that here the file is not present there could be 10 50 servers okay so practice guys you know you should be uh, 
getting familiar with Linux commands also it will be very helpful it is not just that you learn Ansible and you say that oh I have got some scale of course you have got some scale but you have to learn other things also related to operating system if you if you mostly work on Windows servers you get some understanding of Windows servers how PowerShell works there or how the shell scripting works there right and uh, of course uh, for uh, Ansible uh, I mean uh, I would say users or uh, administrators <laughs> we don't use the word administrator developers may be right so what or coders so what you do you learn the basic Linux commands and I have my channel there right so you you can refer to videos there is a nice section playlist uh, related to best scripting uh, so just check it out and uh, I'll see you in next video and we'll talk more about the copy module and anything if I missed about the file module uh, I don't think so because I have covered the you know frequently used options parameters right but the copy module will be using and wherever required we'll use other modules such as file module file module for example right so we are going to uh, make uh, a very fantastic journey now from this point on also because earlier there were things which were very uh, basic uh, related to you know uh, just uh, setting up that uh, setting up that foundation many people don't like foundation they just want to jump into <laughs> anything but uh, the foundation that I have shared with you is very important because you know how to uh, install Ansible how to you know do that keyless or passwordless uh, authentication thing how to generate SSS keys you know the, how to use your configuration file your inventory file so those things now you know and you should be knowing them very well in fact so I'll see you in next video guys thank you tata bye bye good night